basically I'm gonna teach you how to open up the transmission step by step. I was able to find very little information, a lot, I had to do a lot of research and even at that I couldn't find really any DIY anything, that's why I'm making this video for you guys, anything. If any of you guys have this problem, mine is first gear grind and third gear grind. So what I'm gonna do, I have, I bought this spare uh, transmission, this is from an 06 GVT code transmission. And then I'm gonna be basically transferring all the gears from this one, which are good, to the one I have in the car. The only problem with this one, why I can't just do a swap, is because it has a hole in the case. I bought this transmission from a guy, exactly from the MK5, MK5 Volkswagen Forum Facebook page, and he never told me it had a hole in it. I bought it, I, I, I traveled exactly, went from to Dallas for it, it's like a 600 mile trip from where I live, to go pick it up, I ordered it for 200 bucks, and he never told me how to hold it until the day I was going to do an actual swap on it. I noticed the hole and ever since then I didn't even bother messing with it. But now that I actually took my time to do it, I'm going to show you guys how to do it the, the proper way. Okay, we're going to start by first, obviously once you take off your transmission, I'll do a separate video on that hopefully. Your clutch is going to be right here, you're going to take off your clutch. That's going to leave you with your slave cylinder. What you're gonna do is take that one off. I'll show you right here. I already screw all the the screw just to give you a make it a little bit quicker. But it'll be three screws. You got one right here. One was stripped there. You take all those three screws out. That's gonna give you access to taking off your slave cylinder. You take that off. Then you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six Torx 45 screws you need to take off to get access to the case. So let me take all of those off. Okay, once that's done, if you might want to clean all this, mine's really dirty, the guy had it outside, so you might want to take your time and clean it. Then after that, once you have all that taken out, you're going to take out these, um, I mean, I don't know what they're called, but they basically, I guess, they connect to your uh, CV joints or CV axles, why not? They basically, they have in the middle a Allen, Allen bolt, um, I'm not sure on the size. I have a stand, I used a standard 732, it wiggles a little bit, but I mean, it did the trick. Basically, you're going to take that off, right? What I did to get a little bit of leverage was put, I got us a uh, ice pick, put it right here, make the leverage, put the wrench, take that off, like that. And that's going to basically be it for this side of the transmission right now. Okay guys, now we're gonna flip the transmission over and we're gonna have exactly, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're gonna have 13, again, T45 uh, uh, bolts to take out. Go ahead and do that. Okay, once you take all the screws out, there's going to be another CV boot right here that you need to take off. It's going to be the same procedure, it's going to have a Allen uh, screw in the middle. You can do the same thing like I did, use the ice pick again, try to get it from somewhere here to get leverage. 
unscrew that screw and then this is gonna come out. Just make sure you look at them carefully because they're different sizes. So you see right here, one's bigger than the other one. Just so you're gonna, don't, you're gonna be confused. But anyways, you can tell which one's which size because they won't go in the, the, the opposite uh, location just for that sake matter. Then also when you finish with that part, there's gonna be this cap right here on top of this black cap. I don't know if it's supposed to have a hole or not. I'm guessing not, I made a one and it's actually metal, it's not plastic. You're gonna have to take that one off. But I would recommend what I'm gonna do is, this cap right here, I'm just gonna order, I'm gonna go to the dealership and order a new one whenever I do the whole swap, cause this already, you can see it's already bent, so you might as well get a new one. Alright guys, now, um, at the description of the video, I'm gonna put all the necessary tools that you're gonna need in order to do this uh, DIY correctly. We left off where we took off this cap from right here. Um, I basically used the flathead screwdriver and the hammer hit it on the side. That's it bent and it's metal, right? Take that off. Once you take that off, there's gonna be two clips inside. This big one right here that you guys can see. That one went right there. And this small one right here. This one went here on top. To take them off, basically what I did, um, I had a friend help me out. You're gonna get one screwdriver. One of you guys can get a screwdriver and hold this side right here. While the other one gets another flathead screwdriver and hits it from this side with the hammer. Until you guys can bend it and take it off. You're gonna do the same procedure as well for the second clip. You might need a, a smaller screwdriver or I use the ice pick since it's small enough to get a hang of this two sides right here. You take that off. And you're gonna be done as far as this top part of the transmission to disassemble. Now I'm gonna switch the camera so I can show you guys how to take off the sensor and some other things right here on the other side. Okay guys, now we're gonna move to a little bit further down where you're gonna take off uh, your sensor right here and then this other screw right here. You're gonna unscrew your sensor. Just be careful, you might wanna also clean this or maybe get a new one for that sake. Take that off. Then you're gonna need, I used a 5 8 um, bolt here. You're gonna take that off as well. Take that off. And now I'm gonna flip it again. You're gonna take off some other two screws on this side, which is gonna give you access to taking off the ship fork. Okay, good. Now, now to get access to the ship fork, you got a little cap right here you can take off. And these two bolts right here are gonna be a um, 13 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna take those off as well. We got one, got another one. Just take those off. Once you take those off, that's, you're done as far as. Uh, you're being able to uh, lift the case up as well as taking out the shirt for it. Just here, just take it up and just pull it like so, and it comes right off. And then here you can see uh, how your gear is actually engaged, your reverse, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty neat. Okay, guys, now with the shirt fork already uh, taken out, you can go ahead and get access to taking out the top part of the case. You might want to also get a rubber mallet and hit it right here to get it unstuck or if it's like really tight. Mine since I already took it off is not that hard but you might want to use a rubber mallet like I said. So basically you're going to get your case and just uh, lift up like so and you're going to have access to all the gears right there. Okay guys so now we're going to move to the hard part where you're going to disassemble all the gears. I would highly recommend taking a picture, a top side view of everything, just so whenever you take everything off, you're putting it back together, you got a sense of how everything went. So I recommend getting somebody to help you out and basically just start taking everything off. So I wanna grab these two right here. Okay. And just, I will just suggest just wiggling until they actually come out because this actually come out easy. Take off, push one. Okay, now we got this shift force right here taken off. 
it's gonna be two. Then you can disassemble this main gear right here. And after that, you can take all of this big piece. You're gonna take it off. Take it off. Right there. And we can take out this one as well. There you go. That's how you take all the gears out. And then this is gonna be basically your LSD. You can take that as well off. And those are gonna be all the gears from the transmission. Okay guys, now we're gonna start by putting all the gears back. You're gonna replace whatever you need to replace. We're gonna first start off by putting the LSD inside the transmission. Okay, you got it right there. Just make sure it spins freely. Once you got that, Done. What we figure out was the easiest way to start off by putting each gear would be putting this small one right here and this other whole part right here. So first, we're gonna start by getting all these gears together. These they do come with two ship forks right here. They don't go on the opposite direction. They go one way and they do have to meet together just like this whenever they're assembled. So. This small one right here, and this is gonna go right here. So basically, put that on the gears. And then this one, long one right here, is gonna be here on top and also goes right here. But everything has to be first assembled on the gears before putting it in. You, there's no way to actually put it um, on, the, on the transmission without this first. So I would suggest gonna hold this one. Hold this one right there. Then take your time. We took actually a little bit of time trying to figure this out But this is the way we found let's see take that one off This one basically goes in right here Is it going in? Okay. There you go, okay that one that's that's in I get this one small right here, and this one just goes right here on this side. Let's lift this one a little bit up. There, you can see that one right there, and there you got already two parts of the gears assembled. And also, I want to turn it just to make sure everything turns. See everything's turning there freely. Make sure there is no rocks or anything. You, what I did, clean everything, go through every gear, make sure the teeth are fine before proceeding. So you might not run the problem in the future. Okay, now we're gonna move to putting the other two gears in place. This one as well comes with two shift forks which they're gonna align the same way as so. You put them and you also gotta put them first with the gears. So, start off by... right here and then you get this other one and this one goes right here so and as you can see they're gonna touch so move it to put this one and also make sure it aligns with the LSD as well as these two holes here for the fork so basically you're gonna have to wiggle them and try to figure out where they actually go One eternity later. Now after that, we're gonna put, we just got two more to go. It takes a lot of time, just take your time and play with the LSD as you're getting everything inside. The best way you found out to put this one would be, first put the bottom shift for it, put it on the gear, try to align it with the LSD, and in a way where when you flip the LSD, you're gonna center this one in place, and then on the second time, you're gonna put this shift for it after putting this one to uh, be able to have all the space to do all that kind of stuff. Make sure all the is working. Now we're gonna uh, move by putting this small one. It comes with the washer. Make sure the way you put the washer in. When I'm putting it, I'm putting it with the face right here um, up and then there's like a more bottom flat surface that doesn't uh, go down on it. Like so, it goes right here. We're gonna put it by lifting this one a little bit. 
in order to gain access because this one goes in between these two right here. So we lift that one up a little bit. Again, make, uh, make sure everything spins freely. And now we're just going to move into the last step, which will be installing this big one right here. For this one, um, it's kind of tricky, but uh, the way we did it was we first put it kind of like slanted like this and um, let it go as much as you can. They're like that slanted, and then some, make sure somebody helps you out. And you're going to have to flip these two forks right here to kind of get access to slip in this one in because this is the one that gonna get everything from the metal. So basically it's just Now for this last part, we're just going to put the case back. You might want to put um, some uh, sealant here or a gasket. I'll put in the description what uh, it's going to be used right here since I haven't uh, actually going to close it right now. But you're going to put the case on. Uh, so, make sure the lines. There you go, once it closes. Of course, you're gonna to need to put your new two rings right here and your black cap back here. Yeah, this is now right there. And then after that, the only thing you need to put back is your shit fork we got right there. The only best way I uh, use to put it would be make sure it is in the neutral position, which would be the farthest one away. Just stick it in, like so. And basically stay with it until you actually get it to uh, engage. Thank you.